We often speak about the mind as if it's one thing, and it isn't. The mind is layered, conscious, subconscious, unconscious, and superconscious. Each level plays a vital role in how we think, feel, heal, and evolve. Most modern psychology studies these layers separately. In the Primal Integrity Approach, we explore how they interact because wholeness emerges when every level resonates in harmony. The conscious mind, the architect of awareness. Your conscious mind is what you know right now. Now, your thoughts, choices, and words. In neuroscience, this level of awareness corresponds to the prefrontal cortex and the global neuronal workspace, where information from different regions of the brain comes together to create awareness. It's where reason and language live, the realm of deliberate focus, planning, and reflection. And while the conscious mind steers direction, it only sees what's right in front of it. It processes roughly 40 bits of information per second out of an estimated 11 million your nervous system receives, a reminder that most of your intelligence operates below awareness. In the Primal Integrity Method, this corresponds to 3D awareness, the realm of form, action, and intention where thought crystallizes into choice. The subconscious mind, the translator of passion, Patterns. Beneath the surface lies the subconscious, the bridge between thought and emotion. It doesn't store emotion itself, it stores the programs built around emotional experience, habits, beliefs, associations, and identity patterns. Neuroscientifically, this aligns with the basal ganglia and limbic circuits, where repetition forms automatic responses and learned memory. Psychologists call this implicit processing, representing behavior shaped by experience without conscious effort. In the Primal Integrity Method, this is a 4D space, the mental field where energy becomes narrative. When coherence is restored here, life's old stories begin to rewrite themselves. The unconscious mind, the feeling body. Deeper still lies the unconscious mind, the vast intelligence that breathes you, heals you, and keeps every cell in communication. It governs instinct, emotion, and physiological regulation. Emotion lives here, not as memory, but as vibration. Research in effective neuroscience shows that feelings originate in the amygdala, brainstem, and interoceptive networks long before they reach conscious thought. That's why your body often knows long before your mind does. In the Primal Integrity Method, the unconscious forms the 3 to 4D bridge, or meeting point between biology and energy. When you reconnect with this layer through breath, presence, or somatic awareness, stored tension dissolves and energy begins to flow again. The superconscious mind, the field of unity. And beyond them all lies the superconscious. Not a single brain region, but a state of coherence. It's the dimension where intuition, creativity, and deep knowing arise. Science can't yet define a superconscious, but studies of advanced meditators show sustained gamma wave synchrony across the brain, reduced activity in the default mode network, and increased heart-brain coherence. These are measurable signs of integration, the body and mind operating as one harmonic system. In the Primal Integrity Method, this corresponds to 5D and beyond, the field where consciousness observes itself, where intention and energy merge into unity unified awareness. The whole system in coherence transformation doesn't come from controlling one layer, it comes from alignment, where conscious intention, subconscious pattern, unconscious emotion, and superconscious intelligence move together as one field. You experience clarity, flow, and ease. Science calls this neural coherence, millions of neurons oscillating in synchrony, creating order out of chaos. Energetically, it's resonance, your entire system vibrates vibrating in harmony with itself. That's the work of the Primal Integrity Method, bridging psychology, neuroscience, and consciousness to remind you that the mind is not a hierarchy, but a hologram, each part reflecting the whole, because wholeness isn't something you find, it's something you remember.